Thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. More about them later. <laughs> Why is me going to have Hey you guys, we just dropped our two older boys off at spring camp at the trampoline park for the day. So we're going to take our younger kids to the beach for a few hours. And recently I posted a little bit about how we get our baby Kofax comfortable in the water and um, comfortable in going underneath water. And a lot of people are interested in how we do that. And Andrew, over here driving, used to be a licensed swim instructor and he taught swimming lessons for about six years. So he's very comfortable with teaching our children how to swim and getting them used to being in the water at a young age. And we're just gonna take you along with us for our day and show you how we do that. I feel like a kid again, like summer nights that never end. Beautiful day. Here we go. Ready? Let's go for a little swimmy boy. Oh. Oh. Do you like your new board shorts? Yeah. yeah. You're gonna go swimming. Do you clappies? Do you clappies? I used to teach swimming lessons and was a licensed swim instructor for about six years. Just as a disclaimer, I'm no longer licensed and this is not meant to be professional advice. <laughs> the most important thing when introducing your child into the water is having a good trusting relationship. At this age, it's all about having fun and being comfortable in the water. So listen to your child's cues. If showing signs of being scared or anxious or worried, it's time to take a step back. Some ways to make swimming fun is add things like games, blowing bubbles, add some songs or toys. Some games I like to do with the kids is I hold them and have them kick their feet. I make funny sounds. I hold them real close and blow bubbles or do little splash games. Just ways to make them feel comfortable and have fun. If at any point of the game they start to tense up or grab onto me real hard, then I know it's time to take a step back. Some helpful things for my time as a swim instructor was the positions that you hold your child in. There's many ways to hold your child in the pool. Finding the right position, especially if your child is feeling a little anxious, can make a world of difference. I like to hold the children under their arms with their face facing me, so they're only a few feet away from my face. By holding your child facing you, you can see their face and see if they're enjoying it or not. And it also makes your child feel more comfortable being able to see you. Other positions is you can have them rest their chin on your shoulder while they kick their legs. You can cradle hold them if they're really nervous when you're first getting them to the water. Positions generally where your child is close to you or can see you is the most important. As they get more comfortable, you can try laying them on their back, having their head rest on your shoulder or on your chest. Blink, 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 the on the back go blink, blink. So like I said, ultimately it's about having fun in the water and getting them comfortable in the water. Your child is not going to learn how to swim breaststroke or freestyle by the age of one or two. Doing all these things will help your child develop a healthy relationship with the water. This is how we swim. So you take your arms and you're going to swim. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh... Are you It's beautiful. Maybe you can find some more seashells. Ready? 
Ready? Show them how to swing. Okay, watch your scout. Watch your scout. Whoa, scout. Good job. Nice, Daddy. Show us how you go underwater, scout. Can you show Koufax? Nice, Daddy. Oh. You show him how you swim to him underwater? Once your child is comfortable in the water, they may be ready to get their face wet or try going underwater. It is especially important at this age to make sure they are fully comfortable and to really watch your child's cues before introducing this. If at all unsure, find a certified swim instructor to help you and your child in this area. One way I like to get Koufax comfortable before going underwater is holding him facing me and getting his ears and cheeks wet by moving him side to side in the water and watching his cues. Then I count to three and blow on his face. Most babies instinctively gulp air and hold their breath and at that point, I gently bring him underwater horizontally. Bringing him underwater horizontally helps reduce the chance of water going up his nose. If he comes up crying or scared, then that's a sign to stop going underwater for a while. Koufax loves the water and does not cry when he goes under, and he enjoys it. But for Scout as a baby, she did not like it as much, and cried the first time she went under, so that was a sign to wait until she's a little bit older to try again. Helping your children get comfortable in the water and eventually water safe at a very young age is very beneficial. And I, for one, am glad to have Andrew as my husband and the father of my children. Show me where the crabs are. That's a really pretty one. Look. Do they pinch, pinch, pinch? Yeah, and they can pinch people. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Let me see your other hand. Look at that rock. It's a special rock. Hey! Huh? He's always eating sand. <laughs> always sand in his diaper the next day. <laughs> Stinker. Feels like a break with just two two <laughs> kids. No matter which kids it is, if it's just two, it's significantly uh -huh. easier. Uh huh. the boys. We will in a few minutes. Yeah, we're going to pick up the boys right after we get gas. Hey, Sandy, did you have fun? Was it so much fun? Yep, it was so fun. We Good. Um, I don't want to get out of here. We like organized group. It's awesome. That's okay if he wakes up. Uh, that's so cool. So my dog. Dog. These lettuces work. Yeah, these look good. I don't know how much of our salad is even need. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Some books with Scout while we share the salad. A caterpillar. We have caterpillars. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Such a good job. Mm -hmm. And pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He was still hungry. Mm -hmm. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Pushed his way out and. 
beautiful butterfly. It became a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. She no on Friday. He ate yeah. five oranges. Yeah. But he was still happy. Excited to do your box, Andy? Yeah. KiwiCo creates super cool hands-on projects and toys designed to expose kids to concepts in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Each monthly crate is designed by experts and tested by kids and teaches a new theme through hands-on learning and fun. KiwiCo offers eight subscription lines, each catering to different age groups and topics. Each box comes with all the supplies needed for that month's project, so no extra runs to the store, detailed kid-friendly instructions, and an educational magazine filled with content to learn even more about the crates theme. KiwiCo believes that small lessons today can mean big, world-changing ideas tomorrow. They teach skills of innovation, creativity, and problem-solving today in the hopes that kids are equipped to better the world tomorrow. I love that the project provides kids with hours of entertainment and that the kids learn something new each month covering a wide variety of topics. And your family too can enjoy KiwiCo. Viewers of my show get 50% off their first month of any crate by going to kiwico.com slash Ellen, linked below in the description. I hope you enjoy. Ah! <laughs> no! What? Going in circles! <laughs> so cool. Bye Elvis, have a good practice. Bye. All right, I am making dinner now. I'm gonna make enchiladas, which is a recipe coming out in my new ebook, and I'm also trying to multitask. Hold on. I'm also trying to multitask by doing Kovacs, and I'm FaceTiming my sister at the same time. We just talk whenever we can. Lately, it's about like three times a week, and I'm just gonna cook dinner, and I'll show you what I make. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Hannah. Ellen, <laughs> you're just like, come on, come on, and so he's like, Mom. The boys are still at baseball. Taste it. Well, how we're not even talking right now, we're just like just enjoying each other's presence. <laughs> and I'm spending my baby sleep time listening to your baby cry. <laughs> Scott, you want to help me with the beans? Hey. You want to listen to music? What? I'm hungry. Yeah. You're hungry? Yeah. How's the bean? Come. Mmm. Totally. All right, it is ready. These drawers are so delicious. Looks great. Lula, look how bomb this looks. Mmm, so delicious. I cannot wait to try this recipe. It's coming out so soon. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Dinner! But look how delicious this is. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Just waiting for the kids to come up for dinner. They're doing some more rocket launches from the KiwiCo. I just watched. You want to skateboard? You want to skateboard? It's time for dinner. We can skateboard after dinner. Oh, yeah, the You're talking to him. What? Thank you. I love these flowers. I like stuff in it. Oh, then look, so a baking soda and stuff in it. But I don't care. I'll just go on the ground. You have to bring all that stuff inside though before to bed. Mm. Oh. Mm. They're around the corner. How is it, guys? Yeah, boy.